that I broadcast a message was at Halifax, Nova Scotia, when I said a few words of farewell to all the women and children who had welcomed the King and myself so kindly during our visits to Canada and the United States of America. I speak today in circumstances sadly different. For 20 years, we have kept this day of remembrance as one consecrated to the memory of past and never to be forgotten sacrifice. And now the peace which that sacrifice made possible has been broken, and once again we have been forced into war. Many of you have had to see your family life broken up, your husband going off to his allotted task, your children evacuated to places of greater safety. The King and I know what it means to be parted from our children, and we can sympathize with those of you who have bravely consented to this separation for the sake of your little ones. Equally do we appreciate the hospitality shown by those of you who have opened your homes to strangers and to children sent from places of special danger. We have all a part to play, and I know you will not fail in yours. Remembering always that the greater your courage and devotion, the sooner shall we see again in our midst the happy, ordered life for which we long.